notifications on Android have continued to get worse over the years, even with the work that Google has put in so that developers could categorize them to give users the ability to block certain notifications while still receiving the important ones. But shady developers continue to abuse the system, and it's resulted in a poor experience for the user while also chewing through the battery in our phones. So with the launch of Android 13, Google wants to give more power to the user. This is happening by forcing the application developer to explicitly ask for permission before sending notifications to the user. Now you're likely already familiar with this system as it's the same pop-up that appears when an application asks for permission to access parts of the Android systems, like permission to access storage or permission to access your location. So I can give you a demo of what this looks like with the push bullet application. This device is running Android 13. So whenever I open push bullet, the first thing that's going to pop up is it's going to ask for permission to allow notifications. So we're just going to grant access to that along with the other runtime permission before we get into the application where we can sign in and begin using it. Now, sadly, this requirement won't go into effect for all applications in the Google Play Store when Android 13 gets launched. Instead, it's only going to be a requirement for applications that target API level 33, which is going to be released with Android 13. Instead, Google gives developers a year or so to get caught up with the new systems that they implement in the new release of Android. So later this year, with the release of Android 13, we're likely going to see Google increase the aforementioned requirement up to API level 32, which is what launched with Android 12L. So it likely won't be until the winter season of next year that Google begins requiring all Android app developers to target this new API. Nothing is written in stone right now, so these plans could change at any moment. We've seen Google walk back similar requirements like this before with the scoped storage permission. But this is a critical foundation that Google is putting into place to help improve the user experience of Android. This, paired with the new TAR system, standing for the Android Resource Economy, should help improve battery usage once all applications are using the new systems.